It is day four of the Texas trip. I'm still in the Rio Grande Valley. I'm in a Dollar General parking lot right up the street from downtown Brownsville, Texas. And I'm gonna show you what's right over here behind the Dollar General off to my left. Here's the road and the entrance to Dollar General. Gotta love the palm tree in South Texas. Anywhere there's a palm tree, you know it's warm. Here's the Dollar General building, and then I go further to the left, and that is the international border. On the other side of that fence is Mexico. Not directly on the other side of that fence, the Rio Grande River is the actual boundary. So the fence is a little bit inland, but on the other side there, down a little hill is the Rio Grande River, which marks the international boundary between the United States and Mexico. That's downtown Brownsville behind me, and I'm on this little park that goes right up to the border fence. You're right there. I'll turn the camera around and describe it a little better. Downtown Brownsville is that way. And here is the international border fence. On the other side of that fence is not Mexico. That's still the United States. The actual boundary is the Rio Grande River, which is just down that hill. I don't know if it'll come out on the video, but I can see it in person. It's maybe, it's maybe 400 yards down there to the actual river. There's the Rio Grande. It's a little bit easier to see it over this way. It's hard to see, but if you look closely, you can see the international bridge that connects the United States and Mexico here in Brownsville. I won't be entering Mexico. This is as close as I'm getting. I'm staying within the United States. But I do believe that bridge is open to vehicle and pedestrian traffic. There's a clearer shot of the International Bridge. A whole bunch of time has passed since the last clip. I didn't record really much of anything today. It's 6.30 in the evening, and there's about an hour of daylight left. What I did today was I checked out Harlingen, Texas, Brownsville, Texas, some more, explored both of those places, and saw some things, experienced what it's like to drive around there and shop there. I stopped by a grocery store, which sounds stupid, but I like doing that. You really feel like a local there. So where I am right now is called the Laguna Acosta National Wildlife Refuge, and I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly. <laughs> this is just an area of wilderness, I think it's like 10, 15 miles north of Brownsville. Just some South Texas wilderness, and I wanted to show you this road that I'm driving on. It's just incredible, there's nothing like this up north where I'm from. Just complete, complete South Texas wilderness on both sides of the road. There's like a nature visitor center up here somewhere, but it's already closed for the day. Sounded like on the website you could still just go in on your own.
that made it here, found the visitor center. Only person here. This looks incredibly good. There's all kinds of wilderness trails and all kinds of things. Like I see three of them just leading off of the visitor center right here. It's my own stupid fault for not allowing more time for this. There's like 45 minutes of daylight left. But we'll make the most of it. Getting a little bit further in along the trail. And being from where I'm from, this is absolutely amazing. You just don't have this type of wilderness up north. I kind of hope this concrete path ends. It doesn't really feel like as rural as it should when there's a sidewalk under you. No, I just missed it. If the camera was facing the other way, you would have seen that. Something that looked like a... I don't know what it was, but it was the size of a deer. Just ran right across the path about... 30 or 40 feet in front of me. This is exciting. I haven't seen anything like this before. There's a building right here along the trail. I think this is called a blind, where you go inside and you look out these tiny little windows at the birds so that you don't scare them off. Not many birds today because of the rain. Got a little birdhouse and a bird feeder. And the biggest bird bath I've ever seen. It's starting to get dark and I'm back in the car. I haven't seen a person, a vehicle, anything. I haven't seen any signs of life other than wildlife since I've been in here. And it just made the experience just that much better. There's the exit gate to the parking area where that visitor center building was. And the whole time I was in there, I was like, oh, I hope somebody doesn't come along and shut that gate, then I'm gonna be stuck in there. But they didn't. heard of those people who take a selfie somewhere stupid and then they end up dying? This is probably the closest I've ever come to that. It's dark now. The pictures came out clearer than the video. It's just complete open Texas countryside behind me with the Texas highway local road sign. I just had to take some pictures of that. And I am right in the middle of the road when I took the pictures. The car is over there. Amazing. 